Life in the Garden um, was fantastic for Adam and Eve. The Bible tells us that they walked with God, they talked with God, um, and God gave them jobs to do. Um, the whole land that he'd created, they were to look after. Um, all the animals that he'd made, Adam got to name. Uh, there was nothing um, that they wanted that they didn't have. Life was perfect. Um, they even had all the food that they needed. Um, but there was just one rule. And the one rule that God had was they could eat from any tree in the garden um, apart from one tree, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Uh, and Adam and Eve obeyed that rule. They lived the perfect life. There was no fear. There was no worry. They weren't scared. They weren't sad. Um, there was nothing but happiness. But it didn't last forever because God had an enemy called the devil. Uh, and we're told in Genesis that he disguised himself as a snake. Uh, and he came along to Adam and Eve. Uh, and he made them doubt what God told them. He made them think about what God had said and he said, surely, surely you won't die if you eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God, God's just worried because when you eat from that tree, you'll be like him. You'll know everything. No, I, I don't think you'll die. I think you'll be okay. And at that point, Adam and Eve had a choice. I don't know if you're a big fan of, of Jenga. Um, I've played quite a few games uh, in my time at pause on Friday nights and I've won quite a few as well. Uh, but it's a game all about choices and making the right choice. Adam and Eve at that point in the garden had a choice to make. Would they trust God, the one who'd given them everything they needed, the one who loved them so much? Or would they decide to do their own thing? Would they follow God? Or would they follow their own plans? And sadly, Adam and Eve made the wrong choice and it all came tumbling down. From that point on, sin entered the world and there was nothing that Adam and Eve could do about it. It ruined everything that God once called good. And the thing about Jenga is that whenever it falls, you can take every piece and build it back up until you can have a fresh start and a new game but it's not that easy when it comes to the problem of sin there's nothing we can do to get rid of it we need someone to do something about our sin eh, because we have nothing that we can do and so it looks like everything is over everything that's good is now bad eh, but god still had a plan